Hey guys, just kind of wanted to show off a real nice budget folder. Uh, these can be had for under $30. This is a case, uh, small, sodbuster. And it's got the CV steel, which is, I guess, carbon, well, carbon V, van, vanium. I'm not sure how you say it. And the, I guess, celluloid handles. Um, they feel great in your hand. They're a little chubby. They fit in your watch pocket. They ride in the bottom of your pocket great. Uh, once you get used to it. And the lack of clip. And the lack of all these finger bumps and stuff that most knives. Well, I guess not most knives. Uh, tactical folders have nowadays. It's kind of nice to see. To, to hold a knife without them. Where you can, you know, the knife doesn't dictate what type of grip that you're going to hold it. You do. And it feels great, you know, however however you want to use it. It feels like it was made to use that way in your hand. The springs are, I can't say weak, but they almost feel weak um, after using the GECs, the Great Eastern Cutlery Springs. But when I first had this without having and using and knowing the bear trap snap of these, um, this was fine. And it still is fine. You just, you would really have to be pretty careless to, to have this closed down on your fingers. course you have the thin full flat blade and actually this has a slight hollow not really a slight I would say it's hollow ground and fit uh, can't really expect much for under 30 bucks but there's a little big a little bit of wiggle but of course I mean I kind of expected that for the price um, this spring has some space between that and the brass liner but again all that stuff you know you can look over for the price that these come in at or at least I can you can see mine's taking on a, a slight patina here which I like I tried to avoid it at first you know wiped it off and cleaned it and it still started to go a little gray on me so I just let it happen um, the blade is not totally centered in there. But again, I mean, it's hard to complain when you have, you know, carbon steel in this, and it feels that great in your hand and works. I mean, if I had to be real honest, I could probably get along fine with just this and no other knife. If something happened and I, and you know, and I could only choose one knife it, this wouldn't be it but if I had to and somebody just handed me this took away all my knives and handed me this I would probably make do fine you know just the, the right size blade and let's get it on the measuring stick for an overall length of about six About six and three eighths, and a cutting edge of around two and a half. So, make a great little farm knife, beater knife. You just want to have something to throw into your truck, or or you just want to have a knife that you're not worried about scratching up, losing. You know, just use it as a tool. Just a great, great buy. I think any knife nut should have one of these in their collection. A side buster, at least, of some sort. <laughs> this one was actually my first uh, real slip joint. And I found out I really like the thin blades. 
Uh, before this, I was getting real wild with like this Cali 3. I sent it off to Tom Corrine and had him thin, thin the blade out. There'll be uh, more on this later. But a lot of people get real crazy with these, and yes, they're good. Um, but I spent a lot of money on this. First the knife, and then because it got the ZDP steel, and then Tom Crane, and then I've thinned the edge out on my Edge Pro. But this gives you that kind of performance. Not the edge holding, but the as far as when you have this sharp and you cut. This has got it for like about under 30 bucks, like 25 bucks. So the appeal here for me is is how how nice they cut. So I know you can afford one of these. So go ahead and just buy one and let me know what you think. Thanks guys.